hey guys um today i have been trying to really rethink my office setup and uh, i used to have this folding table that i would use normally for my um, dinners my moroccan dinners and it is obviously twice the size that it should be but for now i just unfolded it and put it in here so that would be my office um i had bought this uh keyboard um, so it made things a bit better on my wrists but I'm still contemplating whether or not to buy a smaller table that is half this now this was very inexpensive it was under 30 pounds and I bought it because I like to have receptions at my place but I think I'm going to keep this set up for maybe a month or two and then and then see whether um, I need to buy more stuff or not because I just don't want to throw money at the thing I know it's one of my I'm not following my own advice when I say that you want to invest in what makes you productive but I don't feel that investing in a table would make a difference investing in a chair will make a difference this thing the made the difference because my wrists were hurting but having a table that is slightly too long is not that much of a problem it's more of an aesthetic issue so I will need to be careful that means that I brought actually this table here and now I have an overpopulation of tables. So I was thinking maybe I'll take this small table and hide it under this one because this space is completely unused and then use this as a central decoration. So I'm going to jig that a little bit and we'll see how that, how that works out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just sprayed some perfume, so that's why I'm smiling. Uh, today's perfume is Jo Malone Verbenas of Provence. This used to be part of the permanent collection, then they discontinued it uh, late summer of 2013, I believe. 2013, maybe. And then they brought it back in 2019 as a limited edition. It sold out the first day. And uh, I think they keep bringing it, they should bring it back, I think. Anyway, if you like Verbena scent, this is amazing. Uh, L'Occitane en Provence does a similar scent in a cologne, and it comes in a much, much bigger bottle. I had that, I bought that, but I left it in Morocco, so probably by now it's empty, because my sister probably used it. But anyway, um, morning voice. I always have that morning voice, I don't know why. I swear, I... Uh, and I think it's also just a dehydration. But anyway, um, these days I noticed I was extremely tired every time that I wake up. I have a hard time falling asleep. I have a hard time getting up at, at night. I'm tossing. I'm starting to have a lot of vivid dreams. It's just dreams, I guess. And during the day, I'm tired. So I was a bit worried because I was thinking the only way to address this is typically by going and getting a blood test because... Um, I take my vitamins and everything, you know, so, and I don't eat rubbish, blah, 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 blah. So I just thought maybe it's just a general anxiety and uh, uh, maybe I just need to get uh, a few good nights sleep. So I started taking mirtazapine, which is, uh, technically it is a medicine, it's an antidepressant. So at higher doses, it's prescribed as an antidepressant, but um, um, research on insomnia showed that if you take it at very, very, very low doses, so really less than the minimal dose you could take, you actually get the side effects, which is the drowsiness. So I took half, half of a, the minimal dose for a few days, but then I also, if you guys remember, was extremely worried about gaining weight because one of the side effects that it had on me and also on a lot of children typically is that you gain a lot of weight and it, it reduces a lot of metabolic changes. So I had noticed that I was craving a lot of sugary things and I started freaking out and I didn't want to get into the same whirlwind that I got in, into uh, last year. So I had it for a few days and then I decided to stop and I noticed that even when I stopped it was again the same thing. I had trouble waking up and I would snooze my alarm eight times or something like that because I would have a few of them. And then when I thought about it I just thought, you know what, uh, this morning as I was actually washing my face, doing my routine and everything, I noticed that I actually felt awake at 9.30. And then it hit me that my body never adjusted to the new hour. Uh, it's no longer new, but like my body never adjusted to the summertime. And so in my head, my body still thinks that it's 8.30. 
So what I decided to do is to simply shift all my routine, all my day by one hour such that it matches the remaining eight or nine months of the, of the year. There is no point in me trying to force uh, myself to wake up and snooze in eight times because that whole hour of me snoozing is completely painful. I don't get to sleep enough and I just wake up again. So I just moved my alarm by one hour and uh, I will try it as of today. Uh, also, um, there was a discussion a couple of days ago and one of, the, uh, one of my mentees actually told me that um, uh, a young partner she works with told her we'll probably go back to the office end of May and we both laughed there's no way that's going to happen. Uh, they announced in the UK that maybe schools might start 1st of June, uh, but realistically, most likely, we're not gonna go back to the office and in July. I think maybe in August, maybe. Uh, even if everybody's clear to start going back and everything, I just don't want to go into a bus and it takes me over an hour by foot because I tried. I actually did this a few times just to see what it would be like. Uh, it takes me over an hour on foot to get to the office. So unless I run there and I run back and in that case I can chop it to maybe I think half an hour, uh, then I just don't see myself going to the office. I don't want to get in a tube and I don't want to get on a bus. So that's why I just was um, preparing my home office a bit more. So I showed you a few clips yesterday about how I was going to use my table that I got from Amazon many, many months ago. And it was a great buy. It was under 30 pounds and I've used it loads. But now I'm just very happy with this setup. So I actually now just, uh, yesterday I showed you it like uh, this way. Now I pushed a lot of things and it just looks like a nice home office. Sometimes um, end of June or mid June, I will get my office chair uh, and it's an ergonomic one. But for now this setup really works for me. I tried it yesterday night and uh, it worked really well. And I also uh, have tried it this morning. So um, um, usually I will do my professional work here and then my personal stuff here. I can even eat there, but I can also eat over here. And um, I also like the fact that once I get my office chair, uh, it will probably have, it will have wheels. So I can actually work here and then just, uh, uh, you know, slide a little bit right on my notes and then go back here. I have put some coasters for when I start eating, uh, like when I have a, a water etc. One of my biggest issues whenever I work is that I get dehydrated so that's good and I moved that vase here and so I have also reorganized this. This is still messy but I have moved this here. Here I have uh, uh, arranged this small table and I, I got the smaller table under it with a book. I still need to organize this but I also have moved this thing here and you know styled it a little bit so I like this corner a little bit more. I need to get to painting, but at least this now this corner has something. And I'm going to reorganize my books because my collection has grown over the past few days. Uh, I received a few books and uh, I also have consolidated all the books that I had. And so I'm going to put some horizontally and some vertically because the vertical setup no longer works for me. As you can see, I have a few books that I had to put horizontally. Um, and then for my office, I was doing some CV review because I need to interview some people. But here, I just propped this thing over a few bits here. So these are empty candle, bottle, candle uh, boxes and this is uh, where my beads came. Uh, this is a Manfrotto uh, a tripod and uh, an LED light because now I no longer face a window so I just needed something to light up my screen whenever I have a whenever I have a, a zoom call that's my laptop I this I had from Belgium this traveled with me so much I've had this for years and years now I think over four years and it's still going strong um, it's the same brand as my computer and this is what I got recently and um, I think it's quite comfortable but I'm not used to, to, the, to the keyboard and also I never learned to touch type so I always have to look at my keyboard when I'm typing so I will need a few weeks to, <laughs> to become fast at that again and also I don't know what a lot of these things are 
I'm pretty sure the shortcuts like this one for emoji etc are pretty useful but it will take me some time and for now I'm just trying to do my work without actually uh, focusing too much on that stuff this is just my cushions uh, that I'm using right now for support while waiting for my things to come this is my book that I always write stuff in. I started using my uh, fountain pen every day about two weeks ago because I have all these, uh, actually these are not pens. This one is a pen, but I have these brush pens and all of this stuff. And then the other day I was writing, I wrote a card uh, when I sent a care package to a friend. And I was like, why am I not using my little pen more and I have been enjoying doing that it's just it's just really great uh, writing with nice ink uh, my glasses for the glare and this is my personal section so here I have all my mail that I need to sort I have this little notebook for my ideas a lot of the videos that I post are typically uh, uh, when I have my introspection sessions what time is it I have a meeting in eight minutes when I have my introspection sessions I like I like to to capture my thoughts and then after a week or two, if I feel like it, I will actually um, uh, I will actually post it as a video. So this was the one about my anxiety triggers, um, and I was just trying to understand what would cause something like that. And this is where you see the home, the financial trouble, job stress, health problems, difficulties with loved ones, etc. So I did have a few topics like that. I had a topic about my style rules. And how my style is evolving because I was redoing my closet. Uh, this was something. It's this one is not complete yet. It's just my thoughts about my emotions. What else do we have here? Uh, on why cramming is not enough. This is about um, uh, why at some point you need to get more cultural capital, not just get one more diploma. You know things like that. And this visiting Rabat as a tourist. So I was born and raised in Rabat, that's the capital of Morocco, and I really wanted to uh, take my friends, because typically that's something I do all the time. I talk about Morocco every day, I'm that, I'm that annoying person, and uh, usually I would tell the, I would help people organize trips to Fez, uh, to Suera, etc. Then I was thinking, I want people to also visit my home city. So I started, you know, collating the things that I used to do and see which ones of these would actually uh, make a good plan for, for, for my friends when the travel starts again. So I have Qusba de Zudaya, uh, followed by teas and pastries at Café Mor, then a little boat tour um, in the small boats going to Saleh. So this is stuff that I did when I was younger. I'm not even sure that you can still take the tiny boats. Um, but uh, anyway, so I have a list and every time that I feel uh, that I remember something about my hometown, I just write it down, uh, bubble head, uh, things like that. So this is for my personal thoughts and that's uh, a notebook that my sister got me from Azerbaijan. These I had from um, the container store. I bought them, I think, in 2012. They're still holding on pretty well. Again, they have been with me in every... They've been with me in Morocco, in Brussels, in London. Still holding on pretty, pretty well. So happy with that. These are pens that I had uh, for quite a few years. I used to get them in Germany because I used to work a lot in Germany in 2016. So, um, yeah. These are from 2016. I used to have something like 25 of them because I would buy one uh, or two every time that I would go to the, that would arrive in Germany, which was on a weekly basis as I used to do, to go on projects there. And every time I'd get to the station, it was almost like a ritual. Uh, I finished most of them, but that's why I have this little uh, pot here because I like putting stuff and starting to use it as I go. And this year, as I made the conscious choice to put everything in one place, I actually started using up a lot of things. So I don't have much, much stuff. This is my MacBook Pro, also from 2012, so quite ancient. It still works. It is extremely slow, but fine. These are the Bose uh, uh, earphones. I use these actually for uh, conf calls. So whenever I'm doing calls on my computer, I turn on the noise cancelling, and this little piece is obviously closer to my mouth, so they can hear me a lot better. 
so that's something that I use a lot when when I have my cough course whereas my beats are really for when I work out this is just my little self-care session a section so I have uh, this thing called uh, uh, a harmony essence this is something that somebody had sent me uh, she is a, a Reiki practitioner at a, um, it's not a spa but when my sister used to live in South Kensington she used to go to a sort of wellness and spa house called Gazelli House and one of the practitioners there uh, used to do Reiki and she gave me this so it's meant to be a sort of essence that you spray it helps with your energy I haven't used it I should but I decided to put it here I like the green you can tell actually that I have a thing with green when it comes to wearing it I like green in olive I like it in chartreuse I like it in all shades for decoration I love emerald green and uh, yeah uh, this is an empty deodorant from Aesop that I have filled with uh, uh, a toner this is an old hand cream that I need to finish it's been about two weeks that I haven't uh, uh, you know moisturized my hands and you can tell that I have now this eczema patch I, ha I have it actually symmetrical so I have it also on this hand if I show you um, so that tells me typically that I didn't moisturize so that's why I have it here to remember same thing for my cuticles this afternoon when I have a break I'm going to do my nails I'm just going to strip this color and just put two coats of uh, an SE color this is also an SE color from their TLC range but it was uh, it was uh, at the very very end of it. So even though I added thinner, it came across gloopy and it started peeling on the second day. So that wasn't really good. Uh, I have added it to my empties, so you will see it. This is a, 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 a hydrating spray from Aesop that I have to put on because my house feels like a greenhouse. And these are some aromatherapy things that I use. I had bought. A few weeks ago, but uh, I need to start using them. So this is Find Focus. I need to use that actually. I will need that for my call. This is Rotocool. These are these are eye drops that I need. Oh, Bruce. Okay, fine. One somebody from my team is gonna be late. This is my favorite lip balm, eye cream, and I still need to organize this. But this is a, a storage that I had uh, elsewhere in my living room. But I had all kind of stuff, so I need to organize this. But I'll probably do it in two weeks or so. For now, I have this little pocket, and inside, all I have are my little office bits. Okay, I heard you, and some charging bits. But um, for now, I'm just kind of organizing everything very slowly. And because I now have this setup, I'm going to play with it for a week, you know, get used to it, and then I'm going to organize this and then let it rest for a week or two, and then as we go. But yeah, so that is my current setup. I will film an updated video in a month or two after we know what is happening with this whole working from home situation. But uh, yeah, that is what it is.